Okay, today we're going to talk about async main. So Myra, I'm familiar with async and main, but these are smushed together. What is this language feature? Um, so that's a, a language feature that I was introducing, C Sharp 7.1. Uh, and it allows you to add the async keyword to your main entry point. Okay, so why do we want to do that? Um, so when you want to run async methods from, from the main entry point, uh, before you kind of had to do not a hack, but it's like you mm -hmm. had to do a separate call into an async method because you could not await directly on your main method. Yeah, let's let look at an example of that workaround. Sure. Um, so here's what the old code looks like. Um, and so you would have your like regular void main uh, entry point. Uh, and then here's where I'm calling the do async work method with this get a waiter, get a result. Um, that's kind of how we had to do it before. With this um, new feature, we can await for that. And instead of void, we can do async task and call that. So, but that still looks bad because I'm still having that separate code there. So I can go even further and await right here on the method and get rid of this method all completely. Oh, nice simplification. Yeah, so you, it looks much cleaner like that. Yeah, okay, so if I wanted to read more about async main, where would I go? Uh, so docs.microsoft.com is your go-to resource for C Sharp content. Um, so check it out, the what's new section in C Sharp 7.1, and we'll have links for more information. All right, thank you. So use async main whenever you have a console application that's returning an asynchronous oper operation so that you can actually add the task and task of type int return types. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thank you.